Carolyn Bryant Dunham is not dying of guilt. Let me let me just get let, let, let's deal with this myth, this mythological concept of white guilt for mistreating blacks. Let, let's deal with this for a hot minute. Let, let, let me see if I can get you to understand, overstand and understand this. Let me see if I can get you to understand, overstand and understand this. There is no such thing as white guilt. It doesn't exist. Nowhere in the universe is there a such thing as white guilt. Now, I want you to understand me. Some white people might think they feel guilty for what they've done to black folks. But I promise you, they have never done anything to systemically prevent that from happening to black people ever again. There is no such thing as white guilt. White people do not feel bad about what they do to Africans. They may feel bad about how they look with regard to what they do to black people. They may feel bad about how they look, but they do not regret the actions. You don't do what they have been doing to us for four centuries and regret it. Okay? You regret something you've done wrong once or twice. But when you've been doing it, Millions of times for half of millennium, 400 years, there's no guilt associated with that. There's no guilt associated with police murdering black folks from the plantation to the projects, from the plantation in 1619 to the projects in 2019. I said the police been murdering black folks from the plantation in 1619 to the projects in 2019. There is no such thing as white guilt. There is no such thing as white guilt. There is no such thing as white guilt. That is a metaphorical concept that the European power structure created to manipulate Africans into thinking they have a soul. I'm going to say it again. I'm going to say it again because nobody educates the African world like the prince of pan-Africanism. Emmett Till's lynching. Horrific, inhumane, barbaric lynching in the Mississippi grand jury. The grand jury of Mississippi is not going to indict this woman, although she had an unserved arrest warrant. Carolyn Bryant Dunham, the woman who led to Emmett Till's murder, she had an unserved arrest warrant from the 1954 lynching. Or 55, I forget the exact year, 54, 55. She had an unserved warrant. Because she was believed to have been in the truck that night that abducted Emmett Till. Or she was at least believed to be in a car that accompanied the truck that abducted Emmett Till that fateful night in Money, Mississippi. So she was party to a crime. She was a contributing factor in the murder of a minor. So somebody got to help me understand how a white woman who triggered the horrific, barbaric, historic lynching of a black child. She triggered it. She led them to the she identified him. She celebrated Emmett Till's murder. But the grand jury of money, Mississippi will not indict. Snow bunny privilege all over again. They have dug up Emmett Till's body and buried it again with this disrespect. They have dug up Manny Till Mobley's body, Emmett Till's queen mother. They just dug up the body metaphorically and buried her again. How dare you give Emmett Till a Congressional Medal of Honor? Carolyn Bryant Dunham. According to American Criminal Justice Code, there is no statute of limitations on murder. According to the American Criminal Justice Code, there are no statute of limitations on murder. So, according to the American Criminal Justice Code, there are no statute of limitations on murder. So, if there's no statute of limitations on murder, brothers and sisters, I need you to help me. I need you to help me understand, overstand, and understand. 
I need you to help me understand, overstand, and understand. If there's no statutes of limitations on murder, how in the hell is Carolyn Bryant Dunham not in jail? How is she not indicted? How has she not been charged with a crime? If there's no statute of limitations on murder, why has the Mississippi grand jury failed to indict the woman who led to Emmett Till's murder? The woman who led to Emmett Till's tragic execution. The woman who caused Emmett Till's torture. His horrific extermination. Why has she not been charged with a crime? Mississippi Grand Jury, the Africans of America and around the diaspora demand an answer. Why? How you doing, beautiful? Why has the white woman whose behavior triggered Emmett Till's murder, why is she not being charged? Because she's old and white. The unwritten rules of American society, she is old and she is white.